I just sat down to eat now and I just got an email from the UKVI and it's regarding my Hey oh god it's regarding my application and it's basically just telling me to pay for health surcharge which is <laughs> see I feel like this is a sign that everything is going well so and I think this is also because my company, the new company I want to work for, asked for an ACS, which is basically one check that they do to, you know, allow you keep working. And basically, they've just done that. And I think that's why they were able to maybe look into my application or something. But yeah, I need to pay that money now. I don't have enough. I've got about 1001 but the money is about 1200 and something. And I don't have it. So I'm going to be paid with my credit card because i know get them i know get i know get them and i know if you can't keep myself the email just came in like 9 20 m um, 7 21 and i'm like eh, hey, so people can i know somebody so late hmm how many days ago i went to buy a food stuff for the year i don't know why it is always like that like i never have a visa application you know going instead of me to say oh don't let me buy enough food in case so mm -mm, i always buy i will over buy so god know that i'm already prepared to stay here and uh, the food cannot waste because they are starving children in africa giving me 10 days to pay this money but i don't want it to be delayed any further so i'm just going to pay for it with my credit card because i don't have any money coming in anytime soon like i have no money coming in anytime soon to say that okay i'll be able to use to pay the money or anything so i'm just going to pay with it pay for it and it also came it all, the email also stated that if they don't if i don't pay it before 10 days then it will autom they, they cannot extend the deadline of that 10 days and also the this thing will automatically be rejected as invalid so you know I gotta do what I gotta do. I'm not going to lie. When I saw that email, I was scared. I was like, yeah. Ha. Ah. Yeah. But I wasn't so scared at the same time. I just felt like, yeah, you can be outside me email. Yeah. You guys know that today is the 11th, which is basically a month and five days. Basically, a month and five days since I applied. And um, it's just been a month and five days since i applied for them to actually ask me any question regarding my application but i don't know when they are going to give the final result but depending on then we'll not be able to calculate the, the old duration that it took them to give me a response guys i wanted to use my credit card but because i, I have still not yet grasped how credit card works i have decided to borrow the money from my friend which is basically i had to borrow the rest from my friend and because i don't know how it works and i'm just scared i don't i don't want it to affect my credit score because it's best to not even touch it at all and for you to like how do i say because i don't know how the influx of money will be in the following months i don't want to touch it because if i'm going to go with my credit card i want to know that okay i will have this money coming on this time or when it's coming to repair and everything but since i'm unable to determine it i'd rather just not do it at all just to be safe because credit score in this company apparently is easy to run down but it's very hard to bring up i don't know whether to cry but i just got my application <laughs> I didn't say anything in that video i feel so ashamed of myself um but i was so happy i was so excited i was so like ah oh god it's been ah oh god it's been one hell of a year and you were there all true i wouldn't have done anything without like being there for myself honestly first of all i want to thank myself you know i thank god and i thank myself you know because it has been a tough year and god has been the ultra and your support you guys are you guys have been so supportive and all the prayers i got you guys love love and then my friends as well thank you all so much i really appreciate um one thing people told me during my application was that as long as you don't commit crime you'll be fine you know just be positive always always see there's nothing positivity cannot do see i literally had the bad dream that my visa came back unsuccessful and I, I every time i remember my visa i would just be like god please help me god please help me god please help me i said i saw, like i dreamt i saw the email that was unsuccessful i prayed against it. i said lie lie so i'm just going to say fight for yourself 
pray 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 there's nothing prayer cannot do pray and fight do you understand like put in the energy let god know self say i cannot go grill get that kind of thing so god i don't even know i can't say i can't i can i cannot brag enough about god and um my friends you guys you guys were amazing and what else again oh thank you so much next year this year gonna be all right and we'll be all right last last everybody has their story to tell and let me just say at one point in your uk journey you would face you know a chance of going back home and just all i can say is have god and have your back and everything will be fine and what else so i would also drop the link to my um not my credit card but the link a reference link to getting your credit card with amex they're the best american express there are a whole lot of benefits you get flight points you get like membership discounts with stores and also with air, like flights and everything so i'm going to drop um the the link in the bio you can get 2075 and more depending on how long you've been in the uk your credit score and many more so um don't forget to like and share and comment and also check the description box for the link to your mixed card thank you all so much for watching i love you guys